What's going on, travelers, campers, and vacationers? You know what time it is? It is February. You know what that means? It is time to get those reservations booked out for the year. So I'm gonna take you through my travel binder and how I keep my reservations organized, and we're doing it right now. Okay, so we all know whether you are a full-timer or a part-timer, you have got to stay organized, no doubt about it, because let's face it, when you're booking travel reservations, we all know that at this point in time, yes, we've heard all the horror stories about how you can't find campsites, um, but that's not all necessarily always true, but the truth is most of the time we have to make our reservations months in advance, sometimes even a year in advance depending on the trip. And so it is imperative that we stay organized because if you're anything like us, sometimes I can't keep everything digitally. I lose stuff in my emails. I don't know what the the resort name was. I can't remember which email I had the confirmation sent to, what credit card I put it on, any of that. And you don't wanna be shuffling through that stuff when the month of your vacation comes and going, where did we book? What did we book? I don't even remember what date we booked it. And so, I do it kind of old school. I keep some things in a binder, which I call my travel binder, and I take it with me everywhere we go in the camper for sure. And then at least I have it here in my home office for when we're not traveling or maybe we're going somewhere by airplane. You know, I've got all those reservations here in my home office ready to go. And then we jump in the camper. I grab it and take it with me. So I have them and we're prepared. Okay. so. This is the beloved travel binder. <laughs> Mine's a five star, it's a fabric um, one inch binder. I definitely have some links for you in the description of several binders that have room for at least 12 tabs and some storage. And I'll get into that and break it down for you too. So one inch will cover 12 months of traveling. If you do more or need more or print more, then bump that up, do a one and a half inch or two inch or even three inch. So some things you're gonna need are, number one, obviously the binder. Number two, you need at least 12 divider tabs. I prefer them with pockets. Sometimes the divider tabs come in packs of five, so you know, you're know you gonna have to do the math if whatever amount they come in, um, you're gonna need three packs if you need 12 months, so make sure you don't just order one, you need three. Number three, you need a hole punch. <laughs> because if you're like me and you print your reservations, you're gonna wanna have a hole punch handy so you can put it right in the binder. Very cheap, very easy. Number four, the stapler. Because you're gonna wanna staple stuff. And number five, you're gonna need plenty of pens, pencils, and highlighters. Make it fun, make it cute if you want, get the cutesy highlighters, whatever makes you happy. But if it's just one simple yellow highlighter, do that too. And then the last thing you're gonna need are free monthly calendars that are printable. So you can find those anywhere online. I found mine this time, the 2022 calendars that are in the vertical uh, format on a blog called Crazy Laura. So thank you Crazy Laura for your free printable calendars. So let me break down what my travel binder looks like for you so you can get a good visual. Okay, so here's my binder. When you open it up, I definitely recommend getting one with some kind of pocket. It doesn't have to be just like mine. Um, if it's not zippable, then get one that folds because you're just gonna wanna grab it and throw it in the camper, make sure all this stuff isn't sliding out. So I, I recommend zipper, but this works too. Um, it has a pocket and in my pocket, I just keep things like, well, we'll see what's in here. Uh, for instance, our Kentucky bourbon trail map. <laughs> we went to a lot of places and hit all the bourbon trails in Kentucky. That was handy. If you're gonna keep like pamphlets and stuff like that, it comes in hand handy. Um, I have a little tablet here that I use to note down some campsites that I think we wanna maybe book and visit in different states, just some ideas. And then this was just, again, it starts off pretty rough. You kind of just brainstorm, you know, some places you think you wanna travel that year. This was 2021 20, for us. And we just wrote down a few sites that 
we thought we wanted to book. And quite honestly, we went to a lot of these places, but this is where it starts. And you kind of just brainstorm um, your ideas and what months you think you're available to do some things. And then it starts looking a little more organized like this once you get to booking them. So yeah, I mean, we went to Sheltoe, we went to Orange Beach, we did book the Ridge and anchor down, but um, we didn't get to go there in Tennessee because we moved to Idaho. <laughs> and so some of these things get canceled, but we went to a couple of these. We, um, you gotta write out your goals. That's a big deal because if you don't have it on paper, how can you start realizing your dreams, you know? So write down your goals and check them off one at a time, make it happen. So get the pocket and then basically these are the uh, monthly calendars I was telling you about. Just print them out. If you get tabs that are clear um, with the clear folders, you know, you can see right through it. Sometimes they're not a full folder. They have the slash and the paper's kind of open, but it doesn't matter because you can still slip it in there and see it. Um, but this is January. We're just doing a couple things here. Um, nearby the house. I really don't have anything in this section. Uh, February, same deal. We're going to Daytona, baby. So all of our reservations for Daytona will be in this section or whatever I'm marking that we're hoping to do or have booked to do. And so they'll be here. So here's like our airline tickets. And then that's where all of our reservation stuff is for Florida. Um, March, we're gonna take spring break and go to Utah. I don't think I have those reservations printed yet, but when I do, they're going in there. April, I'm gonna give you a couple examples here. May, June, we're gonna go to West Glacier if everything works out, how fun is that? Here's an example of last June when we went to Orange Beach, Alabama. And what you're gonna to need to know is this. These are some things to highlight that are pretty important. And basically, every time you print a reservation, it's going to look different. The websites are different, the information's jumbled, and that's why I recommend using highlighters, which I love this little one because they're right here. Um, and basically, you wanna highlight these specific five things to just be able to find your information quickly when you need it. For example, um, the resort and the campground. This one's Heritage, Heritage Motor Coach in Orange Beach. Check out our Orange Beach, Alabama video. It's our most watched video, by the way. <laughs> that RV resort is a luxury RV resort and it was really nice. The dates of your reservation. Highlight what site you're staying at if you get to choose one. Um, and then obviously the amount you've paid and what your balance might be. Yeah, that one was a little expensive, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. Also, you want to highlight the email address that you used. Um, mine's probably on the next page, so you know right where to go to get to it from your phone or computer. And then highlight any contact information about the resort, like their phone number or their address, because you're gonna have questions and you're gonna wanna call. Okay, July, this is another example of 2021. You don't always have to throw in your camping and um, resort reservations, you can use it for concert tickets or anywhere you're going, really. A sleigh ride you're taking, whatever, a tubing adventure. We got to see ZZ Top in Louisville last year. Honestly, it was kind of sad. The concert was great, but um, we, saw him, we saw him 10 days before Dusty Hill passed away. So it was a really good experience, but this is just an example. Throw a concert ticket reservation in there. You know, the date, where you're going, what to do, extra notes, what you paid, whatever, or where to find your tickets. Here's a perfect example too in July of a really well laid out reservation from Yogi Bear's Jellystone. Um, easy to find information, Jellystone, where, what date, site we booked, when I called, and you know, the total that we still owe. Very easy. And then of course your information you also wanna highlight. I've blocked out for obvious reasons, but make sure you know what email um, to find it in. August. September, October, November, December. So we have a lot of planning to do apparently, <laughs> but again, it's that time. There's, if you're gonna have a couple extra tabs, if you ordered um, three packs of five, you're gonna have 
three extra. In one of these, I keep site maps when we go and I circle places, I circle sites that I love and I think I want to book next time and I keep them here. Blue Water Key's got a ton of sites I want to go back to. <laughs> and then there's a um, tab here for recipes or meal planning. I just basically jot down on a piece of paper what we're going to eat and where my grocery list for that trip. Shove it in here. And then um, insurance and miscellaneous. Um, you, can, you can make your tabs what you want. Insurance cards you're probably going to keep in the actual vehicle. Um, we keep ours in our RV, but if it I mean, we take this book everywhere we go, so it could go in here too, but if I forgot the book, that'd be bad, so keep your insurance card in your RV, but, and then this is camping must-have checklist I use, um, I did put it in a previous video, I can't remember which video that was, honestly, but this is just a basic rundown of when I get inside the camper and make sure we have a check off whatever it is we need for that particular trip, make sure it's in the camper ready to go, but you guys probably have your own checklist. If you want to screenshot mine, you're more than welcome to. Let me get it in there for you. There you go. And that's pretty much it. Pack it up, throw it in the RV. So that's it guys. I hope that was helpful. It's certainly helpful to me. And as I was getting ready to book some more reservations, I thought, what a great video because some people might need these tips. Yeah, so stay tuned because we'll have a lot of new adventures coming up. See you guys next time.